What stupid high school drama do you still remember? I'm not sure what happened. Probably boyfriend drama. But this one girl started attacking another girl with a curling iron in the school bathroom. Sounds pretty hot. There were many rumors floating around about me in high school. No idea why. But my absolute favorite had to be that I had webbed those. Of all the things to lie about honestly I have no idea what that person was thinking when they made it up. At first I attempted to dispel it by showing people who asked. But after a while I decided to let people think whatever they want about my feet. My brother has web toes they are cool. I apparently had a threesome with two of my ex-girlfriends that I don't even remember. I really wish I could have been there for that threesome that I was allegedly involved in. Then maybe I could understand why those girls were so damn pissed. High school rumors. I will never miss them. This kid at our school was caught getting a blowjob out by the pond which is an extremely secluded fenced off area made specifically for the environmental science students. The girl got suspended because it wasn't her first time getting caught giving head. The boy's mom started going to school with him too. To keep an eye out. The best part though is that they were caught by a teacher named MR. Muhead. MySpace Top 8 created a lot of shti. I was valedictorian of my graduating class and there was this whole ordeal where people said I didn't deserve it since I didn't have a baby like the salutatorian and hadn't had as hard of a life as her. Kid in 7th grade sees bomb threat on a store door. Runs down the hall with his pants down screaming to his teacher. When this guy in my high school left get a girl with the exact same name as me, generic name, from a different school while she was on her period. Scandalous for 16. And she bled everywhere. Everyone thought it was me. The other nuke the whales is a real wh re. I bet. 8th grade. Boy F kid a girl in the armpit in the boys room. Kid walked in on them. Told teacher. Boy was kicked out of school. To protest. We all drew stick figures on the back of our hands and circled the armpit. Didn't work. My sophomore year of high school some crazy girl tried so hard to get me and my BF to break up. She cried when he would sit next to me at lunch. Even if we sat with her. She told everyone that I brainwashed him and my friends to hate her. She told people that the only reason why he didn't date her was BC she was Jewish. She wrote on Facebook about how I was an attention seeking cheating bitch. She had a birthday party with him and three other guys in a hotel on the day of our homecoming dance. And when he didn't go she offered him $500 to break up with me. Every time someone would say something wrong about her she would always break down and cry because her dad died when she was young and she never got to know what it was like. We all knew there was deep rooted issues that needed to be resolved. But she was toxic to be around. She ended up engaged our senior year of high school to an abusive guy. Her mom even asked my boyfriend to ask her out once so they would stop dating. Weird shit. A bizarre love triangle. Max and Kate were dating. Starting freshman year and through sophomore year. But then Kate gets really close to a new girl at school. Alexis. Soon she and Alexis are secretly dating. At the same time Max is secretly dating his best friend Dave. Basically everyone in our group of friends knew what was going on. But the charade of Max and Kate dating each other lasted about two and a half years. That's a ref king square. Drunk kids coming home from party wrapped their car around a tree. Hit railroad tracks going 106 miles per hour. Lost control. Next person to drive by was the elder brother of one of kids in the crash. Spent 15 minutes doing CPR on his dying brother until ambulance showed up. Older brother quit school week later and was found in a cheap hotel. Hanged himself. Edit. If you are wondering this happened in 2009 in Iowa. I'm not saying any more than that. I was the new girl at this one high school for the 9th grade. I started dating this one guy who was pretty cool at first. We played DDR together and had a generally good time. However, he had a lot of female friends that started saying bad things about me and insinuating that I was going around and telling people that he arped me, I wouldn't do that at all. So, 
When he got mad and yelled at me instead of asking if it was true or not. I just dumped him and cut off all contact. Then. His dad shows up at my door a day later to talk to my mom about me and his son getting back together. As if my mom cared about that bullshit. Edit for more info. DDR equals dance dance revolution. He didn't just yell. He punched his wall and was way too serious for me at that age. He had yelled that he had wanted to marry me and stuff. And I was pretty freaked out after only dating about a month. Edit for more info. Of course I told him it wasn't true. Girl allegedly sucked off this dude in the men's bathroom. Word spread like wildfire and almost the whole school found out. The girl was part of this cool girl's crew. That acted better than everyone. So. To suck off someone in a bathroom stall was a big deal. I learned years later after graduation she did a few amateurs PRN scenes. And now is an escort I believe. When my crush and I were dissecting a frog and he told me he liked my best friend. And I squeezed the poop bag on accident. Smell for days. Twitter confession pages. It's happening now. Anonymous people submit anything from gossip to SX drama and people's personal lives. It's a mess. My story was about 400 students who were playing Halo on school's computers from the school's student shared file. They tried to suspend all those students but the superintendent said that was stupid. The superintendent is right. That would be extremely dumb to suspend 400 kids for playing a game. I was dating a chick one time but neither of us had a car. We were walking out of school one day across the street to McDonald's. Some other dude saw us and asked if we wanted a ride, not sure why. Neither of us knew him. Naturally. We agreed. Got in the back of the car. He drove us to McDonald's. No big deal. Super polite guy. Two days later. I get to school and throughout the day everyone's asking me what the FCK happened with Brad. I don't know a Brad. I'm so confused. Turns out. Brad's the boyfriend of our own resident school SLT, sorry for the derogatory term but she fked everyone. The school SLT is also a psycho. The school SLT has told everyone that me and my girlfriend had a threesome with Brad. Everyone thinks I fked my girlfriend with Brad in the back of Brad's car. I've never even seen Brad's dick. OP is lying. I have pics to prove it. Comma I've never even seen Brad's dick. Love this. Somebody bought a grenade at an army surplus store and brought it to school. It was discovered seconds before the buses were supposed to leave and the bus with the grenade was one of the last buses in line. The school evacuated all of the buses and made us all cram into the common area, about 4,000 students. Letters were written to the police department complaining about the horrible way the crisis was handled because they turned a 30 person max casualty rate to a 4000 person max casualty rate and they didn't have any officers inside except for the liaison officer so a gunman could have taken 4000 teens hostage. And all of this happened last Friday. Edit. The grenades are defused before they are sold to the public. So there was this kid a year behind me who wanted to fight me for some reason. He'd come at me in the halls, at recess lunch break, etc. And try to start some shti. I avoided him as long as I could. But one day he pushed me up against a wall and wouldn't back down. So, without even dropping my books, I clocked him across the jaw. Hard. He stormed off. Talking shti. One of my friends said he may have been crying. Later that day, I was in shop class. One of the baddest kids in school was in the class. He came up and tapped me on the shoulder and said I heard you punched out my little brother today. Push T. Yeah. I stammered. I kinda did. He said good. The little bastard deserved it. I just got a justice boner. This dude would pretend to sleep in one of those small cubicle desks in the library but really just try to emsturb it through his pocket. He would do it every day and finally got caught on camera. That was good. Also. Another guy was taking showers in the football locker room for the first time freshman year and popped a boner. From then on he was called boner boy. Poor poor boner never had a chance after that. People don't forget. 
Kid being chased by a cop. Teacher hears it in the hallway. Leaves classroom. Tackles kid. I honestly believe that one of my teachers keeps a gun at school. Not on him. Mind you. But accessible in the event of a school shooting. My rationale. 1. My school is a super high risk school for a shooting. 2. It would be legal. If school defense were a part of his contract. 3. The school's official security guard is really chummy with his teacher. 4. The teacher lets slip that he gets paid more than another one of my teachers. Who is 4 years his senior. 5. He is one of the best pistol shooters in the state. Consistently out shooting most cops. I stalked him and dredged up the scores from his comps. 6. He gets away with insane amounts of red tape cutting. PL. DR. My history teacher is Indiana Jones. Someone bought a copy of Zoo, British Booby Mag, and it had a picture of our French teacher in it. My god were her boobs fantastic. They were big and round and soft and pouty and I just wanted to bury my face in them and never leave. Where was I? Oh yes. Everyone found out and she left the school and moved away. Yeah. We're gonna need to see those pictures. Our school gives iPads to juniors and seniors. We have iMessage on them so we are all messaging throughout the day. Some idiotic girl gives her iPad to tech support and they see her messages which include graphic detail about countless parties throughout the year. The school starts collecting iPads of people suspected of attending parties. School prints out thousands of pages of messages to suspend drug users and people who were exploring sexuality. Don't know why people were messaging this stuff on school property. But needless to say people were pissed and scaredless. What f king school drives iPads and how do I retake high school? Some girl gave a blowjob to the school's jock and he ended up coming in her hair. She then proceeded to go to a sleepover at friend's house without taking a shower. And got dried semen flakies all over her friend's bed and pillows. Edit. I guess this a common thing. Because I've had a half dozen messages asking me where I went to school. If you think you know her. You probably don't. I'm not giving details. So please don't ask. Thank you for picking out my new name. When everyone called me a f god for years and then I came out of the closet in 11th grade and everyone wanted to be my friend and applauded me for my bravery. FCK kids. You were awesome and alien. A bunch of the guys on the football team had a hot tub orgy featuring a couple girls from my class. They came to be known as the Orgy 5. Well news spread over school and the teachers even had a beating over it. One of the five was in my history class and as we were watching the movie Hamburger Hill. There was a scene featuring a big tub and naked woman. The teacher paused the film called him out and asked if it looked familiar. Oh high school. In year 10 media studies we had to make a short film for assessment. One group, two guys and a girl, decide to make a film where the girl gives birth to a live kitten. It was a very graphic depiction and once everyone found out about it. She didn't live it down until she eventually dropped out of school. Now I'm full of questions that I don't want answers to. People obsessing over the fact that I hadn't slept with my girlfriend at the time. 10th grade for me. 8th for her. I'm glad I never gave in to peer pressure. Some people just can't leave things alone. I know it's not that big of a difference in years but a sophomore dating an 8th grader would have been weird to me in high school. I logged onto a girl's account in high school and saved up girl as her background. When she logged on in the library she screamed. The computer apparently froze. And for some reason the librarian didn't think to unplug the computer so she taped a piece of paper over the monitor. I got suspended for two days. And things got bad for a bit. Edit. She was super popular. And I was not. I got f would with a lot afterwards. Had a mutual friend with my sister and we were all at a party and the next day a rumor spread that we had a three way. We all hated that school. This isn't really drama. But some high school justice. This one guy is just a huge douche. He gets off on making people feel like shti. Anyways. This other dude has moderate aspages and is thusly brilliant yet incredibly awkward. 
We're in gym class one day and douche boy decided to pants the other fellow. He ripped his pants and boxers right down. The poor guy turned bright red. But then slowly stepped out of his pants. Grabbed the douche. Put him in some JUI jitsu hold and flipped him over a bench. Douche ended up with a fractured tibia and the other guy was commended on defending himself. TL. DR. Douche picks on Asperger's student. Asperger's student is a black belt and FCKS his day up. We told everyone that our mutual friend got a girl pregnant. Everyone believed it and our accounting teacher threw a baby shower for him. Edit. The day before the shower. We would have school announcements on the televisions in our respected homerooms. Comma our accounting teacher threw a baby shower for him. Even if there really was a baby. That seems incredibly awkward and inappropriate to me. This kid used to m but in school and would leave a mess. Not really drama but it was widely known this kid m but all over the school so everyone talked about it. Went to homecoming with a girl. She ignored me the entire night. I watched a girl cry in the middle of the hall because she finally found out all of her friends had been spreading the rumor that she was pregnant. Before anyone can ask. Yes. She still stayed friends with them after the incident. Because I mean. You're not going to voluntarily stop hanging out with the cool kids. Right? Made a friend cry because I was making fun of Jesus. All I did was shout Jesus Christ. When another friend almost fell off the bleachers. She now spends her days on Facebook quoting Ronald Reagan out of context and hating gay people. Reddit would love her. Girl in the year below me was having sx with a guy and screamed she couldn't feel it so he grabbed a nail file and just had at it. Four other guys filmed it. She was 16. Teacher was fired for no apparent reason. Rumors were he was a pedophile. Not typical school drama but my English teacher lost his son at two weeks. We were studying poems at the time and one on the curriculum was about a man losing his son. My teacher broke down with only me and another student there. We attempting to console him but there is really nothing you can say in that situation. Comma girl in the year below me was having sx with a guy and screamed she couldn't feel it so he grabbed a nail file and just had at it. Four other guys filmed it. She was 16. He stabbed her and people filmed it. My friend has a really nice house with an outdoor pool and a pool table on the deck. He threw a party in junior year. And being his best friend. I was sleeping over afterwards. I was with a girl and was leading her outside when I hear a moaning. I turn on the light and see some guy I have never seen before fking a freshman girl who is on her period on the pool table. Not knowing what to do. I turned off the light and slowly backed away. After the party ended. I told my friend and ventured out to see what happened. To say the least. We spent a solid 4 hours cleaning the pool table. Stories about this went on for the next 2 years of high school. It was probably not you nuke the whales on the pool table. Once this guy got stabbed. Drama ensued. Silly people. This girl swore up and down I wanted to fck her girlfriend. Just because we were super close. I'm not even gay. She tried to fight me in the hallway. And the hostility went on for about a year. That's. Weird. When I was in 11th grade there was a video circulating of a 9th grader giving another 9th grader a blow job during a math lesson. This girl in my high school pooped everywhere during an L at post prom junior year. Eventually. Other scandals happened and everyone else forgot about it. Except for the guy most likely and me. Because the girl in question was the meanest bitch ever who made it her mission to make my life a living hell and be obnoxiously fake nice to me when teachers authority figures were around so no one would believe me. It still brings a smile to my face to this day to think about her experiencing the crushing humiliation she inflicted upon me every day for 4 years. Colon. Comma only difference was mine never involved pooping the bed. I went to a catholic high school. There was a girl let's call her Twiggy who was a bit of a free spirit. Twiggy was constantly in trouble with the dean because she refused to wear bras to school etc. During the time when everybody had a myspace Twiggy posted some model shots of herself basically nude with only a fur scarf covering her lady bits. 
Somebody printed off hundred of copies of this picture and posted them all around the school. She was later expelled after the dean found a bag of weed in book bag during a random search of her items. There was also a scandal at senior prom. Somebody's tampon fell out in the middle of the dance floor.